The haves versus the want mores. It's at the heart of this presidential election. Good morning, everyone. I'm Christine Romans. Forget campaign cash. The new politics of money is about what you think about the wealthy. When it comes to jobs, President Obama wants you to focus on Governor Romney's time at Bain Capital, a private equity firm. But what is private equity? It's big investors like pension funds, university endowments, and wealthy people who pool their money together to invest in anything that can make them a profit. Often they zero in on failing companies to fix them or break them apart or sell them. And as this Obama campaign ad shows, that can mean layoffs. A paying job that you can support and raise a family on is hugely important. That stopped with the sale of the plant to Bank Capital. I thought that I was going to retire from there. I had about two and a half years to go. I was suddenly 60 years old. I had no health care. You're going to be seeing a lot of that. No surprise, Governor Romney has a different take. He claims to have created 100,000 jobs at least. These are the investments Bain made in Staples, Sports Authority, Domino's. There's a lot of others. These are their success stories. And Romney is counting jobs created even after Bain was out of the picture because that's what private equity does. It comes in, cleans up a company, sells it, or moves it forward. It's hard to measure, though, how many jobs Bain and Romney created in their private equity investments. It's from 1984 to 1999. Uh, Bain tells us they don't record payroll numbers for deals. And private equity is private. Once a company is no longer publicly listed, the books are closed. But today, with a painfully slow recovery, should we even be talking at all about Bain? How can you be the president with the worst unemployment record since the Great Depression? the longest period of deep unemployment since the 1930s, and pick a fight over job creation. Will Kane is a CNN yes, contributor who has been jumping off of his seat for I'm the so past minute. I'm so excited to talk about this. As a conservative, are you happy to see this election focused on this record as opposed to the president's record on jobs? Do I look happy? I am look thrilled to have this conversation over Bain. I agree with the president 100%. This is not a distraction. This is what the election is about because this is nothing short of an indictment of profits in capitalism. That is the truth, Christine. All right, Roland Martin is a political analyst. Roland, when we talk about the anger in the middle class, it's because of numbers like these we're about to show you. The Congressional Budget Office found income for the top 1% jumped 275% between 1979 and 2007. The middle class saw income grow by just 40% during that same time. When the president chooses to bring his jobs argument back to Bain, Republicans claim uh, what he really wants you to hear is that these numbers show guys like Romney have rigged the game against the middle class. And of course he wants to have that conversation because what Will also does not want to admit is that when you talk about a lot of these private equity companies, there's a difference between folks who actually want to buy a company, build it up, invest it, grow it, as opposed to go in, pile on to uh, lots of debt, no, wait a minute. I want to break go back. it apart, Roll flip on. it. No, no, no. Uh, let's go back more, to the more, steel more, mill, more, though. More. The president's had that steel mill. Steel. I mean, it wasn't really that much of a bet that steel was going to go out of I mean, steel and paper are the two big companies that he gets nailed about. Those were failing enterprises, many of them. I and mean, steel and paper had what a I'm really bad 20 years. Not because what of Bain, way before here. Bain. But no, no, no. I understand that, but I'm, I, look, I can look at any number of companies. What I'm saying is the average person out there, what they're looking at is when, when these guys come in and how they do business has a direct impact on somebody who's just a regular worker who's trying to feed their family, pay their mortgage, and send their kid to college. And so I get the Wall Street argument Will wants to make, but when you're one of those folks who, who's been put out of a job, trust me, okay. you're not sitting here going, I fatten your pockets, but I'm the one who don't have a job. All right, I get it. I get your argument too, Roland, because it's been made about 100 times now that you'd like to argue that private equity, and Bain Capital in particular, has made money magically somehow by destroying companies. And you synthesize that by suggesting what they That's do is they I go said. in, hold on, they go in and they load companies up, up with debt, they fire employees and suck it out of the profit. So you have to answer one simple question if that is your premise. If Bain Capital did that, if that was their modus operandi, why have they been in business since 1987? No debt lender in no, the no. world would continue to fund a guy like that. First of all, we are looking at a variety of companies in terms of how they operate. And again, We're talking about it's Bain. what exactly? It, what, 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 no, no, but here's the deal, though. Okay, we're talking about 
what he did in terms of various companies. And what the president is saying, which is a valid argument, is that when it has been a problem, it is open for criticism, it is open for interpretation, it is open for analysis. And so we, and, and the other piece is here. What Mitt, what Mitt Romney is going to have to understand is, right. when you're the president of the United States, you don't run a private equity firm. This is a totally different deal. It's totally public versus being private. Okay, it's I'm, a whole different job description. Let, let me bring in let me bring in Joe, the vice president, crossing Joe, the plumber. When the vice president Joe Biden weighed in on the Bain issue this week, listen, guys. <laughs> Your job as president is to promote the common good. That doesn't mean the private equity guys are bad guys. They're not. But that no more qualifies you to be president than being a plumber. All right. Will private equity firms like Bain, they're not about creating profits. They're about creating, or not about creating jobs, rather. They're about creating profits. That's what private enterprise does. And then the, the theory, I guess, is that at the end of that, there are jobs that are created. It's more why, than a theory. Why is Romney's time at Bain Capital relevant to this election? Well, first of all, let me explain this also. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, okay? <laughs> jobs are not the intention of private equity. Profits are, and jobs are the byproduct. Why does that qualify Mitt Romney to be president? Well, if you listen to President Barack Obama, and then we'll use Joe Biden to back him up, what does a president do? President Obama said he creates an equitable tax structure. He creates clusters for manufacturing bases. It's a laundry list of things that no human being is qualified to do when you lay it out like that. However, a man that has played in the private market successfully to net job growth, I think is pretty qualified to go in and get the economy on the I'm right track. I'm going to ask you each one question. I want, a, I want a succinct answer. Uh, Roland, what kind of capitalist do you think um, these two candidates are? How is their capitalism different? Uh, I would say that Mitt Romney is a 100 uh, percent red meat eaten capitalist, uh, whereas President Obama, as the vice president said, looks at it from the common good, say, what how can I, I can be concerned with the person at the top, but also the person in the middle and the bottom because you want to bring them up. I unfortunately am not as committed as uh, Roland is to believing that. Mitt Romney is a dedicated adherent to pure market capitalism, but I think he's better than President Obama because the answer to your question is I think he's at the very least a social democrat in the European form, which is, really? means President. you have a very tenuous <laughs> relationship with well, capitalism. Mm, first, first, that's well, as close well, as you that, can get that, to that, actually saying, mm, all right, all right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Th th those, are called, those are called silly talking points. <laughs> no, no, no. That's called understanding the ideologies. Ooh. Social democrat, European model. What are you going to say next? He wears our Marnie all day? Okay, well. <laughs> That's you, Roland. We all know that's you in this panel. Oh, man. All right, guys. Have a great nah, weekend. Actually I, actually, I wear Sean John. You guys, okay. American you guys company. keep fighting it out during the break because uh, I got something for